What a weird episode I have for you today. I have Vito from The Sopranos on. Joseph, who we call Vito, we know as Vito, is doing an amazing uh, thing for first responders. He's feeding hospitals, people that are on the front line of this coronavirus, this COVID-19 uh, nightmare that we're all still living through. But you can be sure we're talking about The Sopranos. That's next. I do some trade advice on the marker board. And Dr. Raj and I talk rookies and I waterboard myself. What more can you ask for? I don't know what to call this episode. Top five running back. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show. Smitty. Take a lap. So first of all, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I almost want to call you Vito, uh, Joseph. Uh-huh. Joseph Genescoli, for those that don't know, you're living under a rock. This is Vito from The Sopranos that I have here. You are doing amazing things. I saw you on Fox News. You are feeding people in hospitals. Uh, we're, we're, explain what you're doing so everybody knows, because you'll do a much better job explaining it than, than I will. I started because my sister-in-law works at a uh, labor and delivery in a hospital. I started a GoFundMe and started taking it to um, a lot of different departments and hospitals. This morning, I took it to a post office in my neighborhood. Friday, I'm doing about five uh, volunteer fire departments in my neighborhood. I'm in Long Island. Yeah. So uh, then I had a big uh, donation, a $5,000 donation from a guy. And, um, you know, it started off uh, of a goal of 1000 Now I'm about almost 13000 and my goal is twenty five because I want to keep this going as long as I can. I have a feeling we're going to be, you know, in this situation for, I don't know. I think it's going to be uh, before people are comfortable and stuff, maybe till June. And they're not going to be comfortable then, but, you know, the stress with these uh, hospital workers are going on there. It's tremendous. Well, man, it's, uh, I commend you for doing what you're doing. And, uh, man, <laughs> I can't believe I have Vito on the show right now. Vito, you don't play – I'm going to call you Vito. You don't play fantasy football, but you're a big, a big uh, New York sports team fanatic, right? I am. I am. Yankees, Giants, Rangers, not too much Knicks. I'm a huge Giant fan, big Yankee, big Ranger, but big, big, big Giant fan, yeah. Um, can I ask you a couple of Sopranos questions? I know you probably get overloaded with this every second of every day. All right, all right, but, ahead. Go but ahead. You're, you're in your character right now even, smoking that cigar. Um, how was there a chance to before the passing of James Gandolfini, which just broke everyone's heart? Um, was there a shot that, that this thing could have been revived either through a movie or through you know HBO itself? Uh, I don't think they would have continued it, and it was always a movie talk. I don't think David Chase was ready to a movie until he sort of had an idea of making it a uh, a prequel how it all started as kids. And um, I guess once he had the, uh, I am only assuming what, what to do, then that's when he started to do the movie. And as, uh, as, it, as it would be, it's Jim, Jimmy's son, uh, Michael, that's going to be playing him. Is that is that a go, the movie a go? Oh, it's done. It's coming it's- out in September. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. I'm like one of the biggest Sopranos fans, and I didn't even know that it was already filmed and done. Uh, it's called Many Saints of Newark. Man, I can't wait to see it. Can you real quickly just describe like your experience being on that show? Was it one of the best things you've ever been involved in? Well, I always say it's like being on the 27 Yankees and the 85 Bears. Uh, you know, you're part of history, and then you're just grateful that uh, you are part of it. Um, as you know, I think I'm maybe the only guy to play two different roles, right, from season one. Yeah, pizza shop. You come in. Right. You're, told, you're told to exit uh, the pizza joint. Right, the bakery. The bakery. Sorry, the bakery, because uh, Christopher was not having it. Uh, yeah, I remember well. Like, you had two roles. That's funny how they do that in movies, too. Like, they must have loved your, your, uh, your, your uh, acting in that scene to be like, we want you to play Vito. How did that happen? Did they just approach you and be like? Uh, I, don't, I don't really think I had that much to do in that scene, but. For whatever reason, they brought me back, thank God. And, um, you know, then I got to kill Jackie Jr. And um, 
then I brought him the idea to make my character gay from a book I was reading about a you know a true story and rest they say is history so that that move changed my life man I, I miss it I watch it like I watch the whole series probably once a year minimum like it's one of my favorite it's my favorite show period and and when Jan, James Gandolfini passed I was like devastated you know this is one of my favorite if not my favorite actor um and god all you guys are just icons like i i'd give anything for them to do a spin-off with paulie with sill with you well you know we all get heavier fatter we get older yeah. not as strong as we used to be yeah I mean, some of us is older than me and so what do you got going on now well <laughs> i did have a lot of things going on but uh you know, everything, like the rest of the world in the country, everything stopped. I was a chef before an actress. I was doing a lot of in-house private cooking for Soprano fans. I make, a, a you know, an antipasta, a pasta and a chicken dish. That's awesome. You know, so I, I'm there about eight or ten hours at the house with an assistant. And they ask questions. I tell stories. We take pictures. And it's pretty great. That's and amazing. I was really taken off. I was doing about... Uh, three or four a month. So that was a lot of fun. It's, you know, my first love. Uh, I've done some movies. Um, you know, my skins, that the, my NFL skins, that uh, cover a five-gallon water bottle in the office at home. Also go over a propane tank. That's on the uh, Amazon and uh, Groupon. They're all over. Now I just keep busy with uh, different things. Well, I, the moment things get back into gear, you hire Vito to come cook for you. And then the GoFundMe link, is that on your Twitter? I can just grab that yeah, from there. Yeah, that, that's on my uh, Twitter. That's okay. somewhere you'll see it or I can, um, I'll can i I'll send it to you via that's, Twitter. That, that's most important and most impressive right now. So I, I didn't mean to go on the, the – I know I got all carried away on the Sopranos tangent, but what you're doing for people yeah. right now is amazing. And uh, I can't thank you enough for coming on, man. I appreciate you. All right, pal. So I gotta go uh, eat some dinner. Sure, sure. The, we want meatloaf. We want it now. Let him get. Let the man get his meatloaf. Oh my God! Go chug, 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 chug. <laughs> so if you had that pick, you're gonna have the last pick in the second round, first pick in the third round, last pick in that round, and so forth. To get that 1.1 or 1.2, the only move that you can probably get away with, or the two moves, is to get rid of your third, fourth, and fifth for that pick right there. Not everyone's gonna do that. Not everybody plays the fool. But if you can get rid of your third, fourth, and fifth for just the one pick, try that. Try that first. And then try your second and your fourth, if you can get away with that and keep, uh, second and fourth, yeah, so you can keep your third rounder. That would be next ideal. Then the next thing would be to get rid of like your second and fourth. Or second and I'm sorry, second and you could do second and third, but that that's quite a, a price to pay. But I would do it. So let's just say worst case scenario, you do that, okay? So second and third. Let's say you do that for the one point one. Second and third, okay. And let's rewrite this. Okay, so now you have no pick here and no pick here. Even if, let's say, you were to get rid of your fourth rounder, you'd still be in really good shape. But the awesome part about this is you could trade your fourth and sixth rounder, if you want, so get rid of these, fourth and sixth to move into the bottom or middle of the second. So now you have the 1.1, the 1.2, and a middle second rounder. It's not gonna happen in every draft, don't get your panties in a bunch if you tried it and the one person sitting at 1.2 doesn't trade for anything, then I can't help you in that league. But guess what? You play in how many leagues now? Um, you're a big boy. You can play in four or five leagues. You can play in 10. I play in 14. That's how dad did it. That's how I do it. So if you have this 1.1 1 .1 or 1 1.2 and this 1 point or 2 point, I don't know, 2.7, you can walk out of your draft like a badass and have Barkley. Can you read that? Like right, right backwards, Smitty. Come on. Okay, let's try this again. 
Bar Bark Lee, I think this is right. But can you even read it? Barkley, baby! Backwards! Sons of bees. Let's put that in a little orange because you can barely read that. Barkley. Barkley. And uh and CMC. You know what letter is easy to write backwards? M. Like your mama. That's easy. Really, really easy. Mama! Ma look, mama's easy. Look. Mama. You can't read that. Oh, you're... This is, this is easy to write. I don't even have to do anything. You ma. Your mama. Okay. So you have CMC and Barkley and Mahomes. Damn it. Mahomes. Ma... Holmes. Oh, that one's easy. Mahomes. Oh, the S is not right. Dodger, watch out. Dodger fell. So like that. Mahomes. Mahomey. Can you guys read that? You can't because the text is in the way, huh? Oh, well. Barkley, CMC, Mahomes. And you don't have a pick until round seven. Well, boo-hoo for you. Too bad you have the number one quarterback in the league. Too bad for you, you have Barkley, the number one or number two running back, and boo-hoo for you because you have the second best running back. But you have literally, you've won your league already. Like, you know what? Throw the seventh rounder in. Let's just pretend that we threw it in. Let's pretend we traded the second, the third, and the seventh all for the 1.1. If you say, oh, I can't get the 1.01 in my league, yeah, you can. You probably can. Not every time, but you probably can. Even if you got rid of your second, your third, and your fourth, let's say, for the 1.1. All for the 1.1. And you get Barkley and McCaffrey because you already have the 1.2. And then you trade your uh, uh, fourth, fifth, or you already traded that, your fifth, sixth, and seventh. I didn't even write the five in there, did I? You guys didn't let me know. While I'm writing backwards, I wrote one, two, three, four, six, seven. It's five, six. You get, you get the point. That's why you. That's why you go to school online. <laughs> that's why you get your virtual education, it's so you can you know that stuff. You can you know it in advance. And I'm wearing my monkey knife fight hat because you know what you can do. You can go to uh, mkf.win/smitty, and they've got all kinds of stuff. I'm sure cooking up for when things unleash, and you can get back to your daily contests. But I'm supporting my local monkey knife fight uh, buddies. I want these guys to thrive. They're my favorite DFS company out there. So I'm wearing this for you, monkey. Uh, free promotion because that's how I roll. Drake won't break out Raheem Mostert. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're waiting for the mock draft tonight. So tell me who's beating this team, even if you threw my uh, sixth and fifth rounder in. So if I traded, we'll just go back to the original point. Uh, second and third for the 1.12 or 1.1. The fourth, the fifth, and the sixth for a mid second. Fourth, fifth, and sixth for one mid second. You can do that. I've done it. That's Mahomes, Barkley, and Christian McCaffrey. Who's going to compete with that? Who is going to compete with that? Tell me. Who is going to. I don't care if I don't have a pick till round seven. Who? That's why you. There's a reason you don't have a pick until round seven because you own Barkley, McCaffrey, and Mahomes. Did you think you could own that and still have a pick in every round? Because if you did. You came to the wrong class. This is online learning. This is not in-person learning. This is online learning. Everything's changed in the world. We're online now, okay? We're not going to Zoom it. We're going to Instagram Live it. So get get in class. Get in order in case I call on one of you. One of you. Personal experience. League will be mad. Your league mates will not trade with you any longer if you do this trade. They will no longer trade with you. Smitty had just traded Zeke for Jacobs and Hunt in Dynasty. That's a... I don't like that move, Ryan. You should have you should have consulted with me. It can work out. I like Hunt, but Hunt is a secret weapon. He is no lock. He is the guy you put on your bench when everybody's like, eh, I don't need him. And, and then if things go right for him, he wins your league. Now, if Hunt gets in there, if Chubb tears his ACL 
and that sets him back to ever return and Hunt takes over, then you clean up on that, but you're you're banking on that's you're paying a price as if Hunt already has that value. So I don't really like that. I would have checked with me on that first, Ryan. Uh, this is like the, the Phoenix University. It is basically. This is um, th- that's why I'm called Sleeper U University. That's no coincidence. Sleeper University. So sleeperu.com. It's down there below. Sleeperu.com. I'm a university of sleepers, finding sleepers, landing them, trading for them, uh, and you can join that Discord right down there for free and chat with me and, and the whole clan. Okay. That's strategy number one. Strategy number two is pretty simple. Pretty, 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 pretty simple. And all you do, forget all of the the noise on the board, just focus on the rounds. If you have a pick here, and you have a pick here, all you do is move your third, preferably your fourth rounder into that second round. So here's your, I wanna make this clean. I wanna make this clean. I want to make it clean. I want you to know what you're looking at here. This is online learning at its best. We're not cutting corners. We're not getting on Zoom. We're doing this the right way. And then next, maybe we'll, we'll reheat with Smitty. Okay? So here's round one. Here's round two backwards. Nailed it. Round three backwards round four backwards right round five is that five right Na- nailed it nailed it god i'm i'm the best backwards writer on instagram live i think not validated total guess but i'm i'm gonna say i am six if you have this pick right here Okay, if you have this pick right here, this pick right here, and let's say you had this third and this fourth. I want to trade this fourth and this sixth for another second. So I'm not going to have a fourth, I'm not going to have a sixth, but I still have my third, I still have my fifth. This team affords you a team that looks like this. Elliot, sorry if it's too soon for you. Uh, Ryan to be talking about Elliot right now Elliot now here's here's why, why I love this approach it's one single trade but it's where you're trading and it's not the same from year to year the reason I'm telling you to trade your uh, fourth and your six is because what you can accomplish with this when you're trading I, now I love AJ Brown if we're talking dynasty I love him in the fourth round you can sometimes get him in the fifth though so hopefully you would but with AJ Brown Aside from him, in that fourth round, there are a lot of sketchy characters in the fourth round. So, hey, Dr. Raj, what's going on? We should do a live in here uh, soon and do a, a – we'll have you spit out the picks and I'll write them on the board. I'm learning to write backwards on the fly, Dr. Raj. On the fly. I'm nailing it. It's online learning. It's ha- This is happening. This is like – this is better than Zoom and better than – this is online ed- education at its best your fourth and your sixth who cares about your sixth rounder you're moving your fourth up to pat mahomes so you have mahomes now because you can afford to take him hell yeah hell to the yeah look at that mahomes, look at that mahomes backwards mahomes and so now with your other second rounder spit but toss a guy out kittle since we got dr raj in the house do we go kittle over the middle travis kelsey um, why I like to go, I think we need to go with somebody at this point that you can't get in the third round. So like example, you could probably get Kittle or Kelsey in the top of the third round. So if we do like a Drake or an Eckler, we'll say, I do love Kittle over the middle. I'll talk about that strategy next, but this one, we need to take somebody that wouldn't fall to the third round. Otherwise we're pretty much, we're getting rid of our fourth and our sixth. um, we could even get rid of our fifth rounder to move the third rounder up. So if we were to do that, even let's say we were to take this fifth rounder and trade our third rounder 
Okay, so fifth and third rounder to get another another second. So you, then you would take Zeke Elliott right here. You would take Mahomes here. You would take Kittle over the middle here, and you take Austin Eckler here. So you'd have Kittle. And Eckler. This is all backwards, Dr. Raj. Tell me you don't win your league with this team right here. Elliot, Mahomey, Kittle over the middle, Austin Eckler. What receivers do you need at that point? Oh, Dr. Raj is trying to get in here. Sorry, Dr. Raj. That team wins. Championship. Champion. Shit. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the backwards riding. That's I know, team. man. What's up, I did, man? I did it on the fly, bro. I did it. On, I, Dr. Raj, I did it on the fly. On the fly. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. This guy. But quarantine's got you going crazy, Smitty. I, I'm doing it. I'm living the dream. You um, really are, man. I say uh, CB Lance probably a little bit ready. more pro ready. Okay. Just want to use my, my phone. It, but it's hard to say <laughs> that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'd say so, but... Who is the most bust factor? And sometimes the best player does, so... Henry Ruggs. Most bust factor. Okay. Who is yeah, the safest, but that could be in a guy with less ceiling, even? Jerry Judy, the safest okay. pick. So, safest and best. That, to me, tells me that, that, like, when I do that evaluation, like, when I evaluate a player, um, yeah. part of what I do is how much risk is their situation and how much skill. And sometimes when a player has, like, across the board all three, that's when you tell yourself, like, okay, this is more can't miss than people are giving him. Yeah, he, that's what I'm this saying. This is a can't miss player because talent wise, he's number one. And I said one. it. I said, Jerry Judy's a can't miss prospect in this draft. That's my opinion. Yeah. If he's talent wise the best, if he's potentially right up there with the most NFL ready at least, and if he has situation to boot, there is le there's absolutely no risk. Only injuries exactly. could take him down. Only injuries, and this kid is like I say, he's he's sky's the limit, man. Yeah, close out, close out this live, Doctor Raj. I gotta go uh, eat some dinner. Sure, sure. It, we want meatloaf. We want it now. Let me get, let the man get his meatloaf. We want it now. You send me a get, plate. I'm gonna get killed. Okay, so Doctor Raj, play a game. Um, I like games. You ha you can have Jerry Judy, but they must remove Debo off the roster. Bro, no, you can't do that to me. Come on, man. <laughs> you got to pick. <laughs> uh, what's the other? What's the other choice? Doctor Ross just threw up in his mouth. You get to keep Debo and and have another wide receiver. So you can't do this to me. Okay, Jerry, I'm more attached to Debo Samuel than Jerry Judy. You're loyal. I, I like you. If we get rid of Debo Samuel, I will go down to the office of the 49ers. <laughs> And personally kick their asses because that is absolutely. I out love of the loyalty, Doctor Raj. Because you come just on, told, man. Debo's my boy. He you just told me, me you just told me that Jerry Judy's in your top five, but you're such a loyal man. I love it. You're you're saying De Debo's not going anywhere. I like. I tuck your chains in, man. Okay, I've, I've asked you this question before, but people may not have heard your answer. Broken hip wall or the coronavirus? Oh, we got to take that broken hip wall because. Is it? I've never yeah. done it, so I'm gonna try it. I don't. I don't know. Let's let's see what this guy can do. This okay. Smitty's something. Look what quarantine, bang bang water gang. This guy. Yeah, bang, look what quarantine bang, is doing to this guy. Bang bang. Okay, ready. Bang bang water gang. Okay, ready. Oh my god. Look, it's it's it, there's water in it. See. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Now I've seen people do it. I don't know if it's fake, but they they take it and they like just crumple it. They go. Oh my god. He's out of pocket. That's a fail. That was epic. Fail. Smitty, you know, that's how coronavirus has started. But I've seen people do it. They just go. <coughs> Gotta water the plants, too. Why oh, I... my God, man. But anyway, I don't think Miss Smitty's going to let me back. I don't think house. you're going to get any meat, love, bro. <sighs> we want it? That's the arrowhead, though. Hey, you're right, Ron. He got the arrowhead. He's part of my sponsorship. <laughs> should, we, should we try that again? Done, man. Um, you are have, you ever tried else, to have you ever tried to waterboard yourself? Uh, no, not 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 at all. I have, and it's not that bad. You like 
one one thing of water, you can fake it through the whole thing. I'm serious. I did it on uh, my TikTok live. I did it on my TikTok live, and I tried to waterboard myself. And it does not is not that bad for the first bottle. You have to have like a whole jug. Like when you watch the movie, oh like, man, someone does it like a little bit. It's like, dude, it's like it's just like going like this. You know? Oh my god, this guy, this guy said you got more off your shirt than in your mouth. <laughs> I got yeah, that's true. Should I redo it again? Let's let's see him do it again one more time. Okay. Maybe have a breakout year. I hope so. He's putting is, is in that okay work. If I, is it okay if I chug a couple of waters outside real quick? Oh man, he he should have asked the first time. <laughs> really he did not. Stuff, that. <laughs> All right. Am I doing the same thing, or am I just trying to chug it? How fast I can chug it? Let's see how fast you can chug it, Smitty. Okay. Ready? Just don't choke. Oh my god. It's, it's full. Let's go. It's full. Ready? Let's do go. it. Oh my god. Go. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's in my nose. But when you oh water when you waterboard yourself, dude, it's just like this. This guy is some special type of special. You can hold your breath for like a minute. <laughs> oh my God, Smitty. <laughs> this is why he's the best fantasy football analyst. He's, you go out there and make himself look like the biggest fool, but he'll give you the right advice. Yeah. Uh, the whole reason I did this, you told me to drink water, but I'm wearing water. I didn't drink water. Yeah, it needs to go in your mouth, not your shirt. Top five running back. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show. Smitty, 